Like pretty much everyone, I have a plan for when the zombie apocalypse inevitably happens. And my plan is to get absolutely ruined. Because let's face it, if you manage to survive the initial outbreak where let's say 90% of the population dies, the rest of the apocalypse is going to be pretty boring until your ass gets eaten. Anyway, today in RimWorld, I plan on spicing it up by trying to create a rum distillery on a tropical island far away from civilization. Think of this like Rum Island, but in a multiverse where there's a zombie apocalypse. For this adventure, we will need a team of uh, uh, brave adventurers. Let me introduce you to the captain himself, who will be making a return for this video. Nicole, who will be our scientist, and Lucy, who will be doing all the manual labor. We arrived on our tropical island with nothing more than 50 Twinkies and some primitive ass weapons. Now we had three days before the zombies would arrive, so our initial task consisted of setting up some tents and building a wall around us as quickly as possible. Nice. And just as I was patting myself on the back, Got, oh, God, Anna Road. Oh, come on. All right, we'll bait him up this tunnel. And oh, they're stealing my components. No, don't let him steal those. Why were they still out there? Oh, for God's sake, chase him down. Captain, shoot him. Shoot him, Captain. There we go. Uh, so it's hard to run when you've got a 303 bullet lodged in your stomach, isn't it? With our components secured, we stripped her of her belongings and let the sea slowly wash away the stain which was her existence. Her soul now cleansed by the ocean, she uh, uh, rose up again as the walking dead. So this time we clapped her with another 303 round to the skull and left what was left of her to rot in the swamp. With the zombie threat now realized, it was time for a two-day plan to get this base ready for when the hordes arrived. We chopped up some stone into blocks, set ourselves up a generator, and gave ourselves some light. Uh... A bolt's good trader then decided to rock up and proceeded to get massacred outside my walls. So we decided to help the remaining survivors. And uh, when I say help, I mean help relocate their inventory into our warehouse. With the trade convoy eaten, there was nothing stopping the hordes of undead from smashing their heads against my doors. And just as I thought I had fended off all the zombies, that's over. Oh, for fuck's sake! Not to worry, because thanks to a 303 rifle and uh, Captain being an absolute chad, we had this fixed up pretty quickly. The zombies had been defeated for now, and the threat reduced down to 0%, which gave us some time to complete some quests and recover some additional loot from outside our walls from all the dead traders. Also, just a quick PSA, if you've ever felt useless or feel like you're not achieving your purpose in life, just know that people like Warner exist who decide to bring a musket to a zombie apocalypse. He's trying, he just keeps missing every single shot. <laughs> what are you doing? They just know he's not a threat and they are just walked past him. That's embarrassing. They're just like this guy ain't a threat at all. <laughs> he's even punching that zombie in the head and they're just ignoring him. All right, let's go give the fight to the zombies again. Start shooting some of these bastards. God, this is actually a really depressing fight <laughs> oh, i'm sorry did you just get fucking bored or something no go back to shooting them to be fair man does need a bathroom break go and have a shit and then go back to it oh finally a merchant to come and help me fight all the zombies off as chaos ensues around us we just sat down and slept <laughs> with machining finally researched we were now able to construct a loading bench which will allow us to make our own ammunition meaning we can now take the fight to the zombies and after clearing out another horde from the southern tunnel we were rewarded for our struggle cataphract armor holy shit all right go grab that go grab that right now and then we got raided but these clowns decide to bring melee weapons to a fight with a zombie strapped with c4 Oh, that was pretty anticlimactic. Uh, what? What is that? What the? When did zombies learn to lockpick things? Why did it turn my light off? What the fuck was that? The rum production has begun, baby. Ah! Leave me alone. You bloody stupid zombies with bombs strapped to them. Who thought that was a good idea? Uh-oh. Our actual raid who actually have guns. And so begins the fighting with our fellow human beings. We're meant to be working together, you assholes. Go on, come through that door. I dare you. I fucking dare you. You piece of shit. See what happens. Your shotgun is nothing. I told you to see what happens. And look what happened to you now. You're all dead. Ladies and gentlemen, the rum production has begun with the arrival of this slaver as well we should be able to we should probably talk to them and see if we can buy any slaves all right let's purchase ourselves a bunch of slaves it's uh it's a good idea i think no the slaves are already trying to escape come on man 
I'd be like that. I just bought you. This man has been punched in the chest 31 times. Jesus Christ. It wasn't really my intention to take slaves, but it has just kind of happened. Unfortunately, it seemed the arrival of some fresh blood to the rum factory attracted greater numbers of the undead. And after a couple of tough battles, I came up with a great idea to keep the undead distracted. See, my new favorite thing to do is uh, shoot people in the head with my 9mm SMG and give them permanent brain damage and then uh, uh, leave them for the zombies to finish it off. <laughs> You know what I mean? You shot this guy in the head, gave him brain damage, and now he's just let there uh, being eaten by zombies. We have officially produced our first batch of rum, which uh, uh, basically means this playthrough's done, right? <laughs> We're all done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm finished. I've survived the zombie apocalypse of rum now. With the rum now flowing and our distillery officially established, it was time to do that corporate thing and pretend to care about relevant issues. So, we set out on a recycling campaign and recycled the equipment of all the dead traders. We also researched gun turrets to keep the locals out, and that did a flawless job of stopping the hordes from forming around our walls and keeping pesky raiders out from stealing our rum. And speaking of rum... Alright, it's time to increase the rum production as well. Let's get a thick fermenting barrel. Look at the size of that beast. Look how much rum we can make with that. So we can stick 120 sugarcane mash in this barrel instead of the usual 30. So that's, uh, we can now make 120 rum our, uh, cycle now. That's, uh, that's pretty tasty, that is. Yeah, I was going to take this rum out, but I thought, you know what? Let's just wait until it's legendary. Let's get the legendary rum out. That's the good stuff. So I, I've decided to pick up a little side hustle alongside the rum production, and that's the chemshine production. Because if you remember our good friend Dub's bad hygiene, we can take our we we can take our poo, uh, refine it into chem fuel, and then distill that bitch into chemshine. So not only are we going to be selling our good quality rum, we'll sell that to our uh, good customers, the, the the ones that are willing to pay for it. The poorer customers can buy our chemshine, which is just our refined shit. Oh, shit. Oh, God. The punters are coming in. The arrival of our new undead friends was not really a problem. What was a problem was the fact that Randy decided to drop a raid on top of me 30 seconds later. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, oh, raid inside the base. Oh, no. No. Oh, come on, man. A zombie attacking in a raid. Shoot the crap out of him. Thank God Captain's got so much armor. Yeah, you shouldn't bring an SMG to a man who's got cataphract's armor. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, get, 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 get inside. At least get in cover, you idiot. All right, there we go. Okay, that's them dealt with. With a large gunfight that just erupted and an increase of fresh meat inside our walls, the zombies wanted in on this little orgy of bloodshed. And while the captain held the line by shooting them all in the face, I, uh, I, I kind of forgot one of the important rules of the zombie apocalypse, the double tap. You see, I had a lot of recently deceased people inside my walls and not all of them had their brains destroyed. This meant the raiders I just killed came back to life, which as you can imagine, Caused a few problems. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, God. The slave's been bitten twice. And Steph has decided to walk straight into the fucking zombie. What are you doing? Unfortunately for our poor slave, she became infected. Which meant... Uh-oh. We might have a problem up here in the north. We got a zombie that's going to try and start bashing down my walls. And we also got one who's got a bomb strapped to him. Uh Back it up, Captain! Back it up! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Lucy, get over there. Help the Captain! You shot the captain! What? Stop shooting the man! No, this is not how it ends! Keep going, captain! Oh, uh, Lucy, come on, shoot him quicker! Oh, gee. Oh, God! Oh, no, they've broken it! Oh, no! Oh, they're coming for my rum! Lucy, get the doomsday! Oh, we're having real problems now. Oh, no. Lucy, do it! Send it! Alright, sorry, Steph. Captain is still fighting. No! No, the captain's arm is broke. Oh, no. Oh, no. My boy. No! Oh, my God. Yeah, he's, uh, the captain is dead. Uh, no. With the captain dead and our last two survivors trapped, there was only one thing left to do. Crack open the legendary bottles of rum and have one last celebration. Celebrate the fact that we had come so far on our journey of survival. And being the selfish bastards we were, it was only right that no one else would experience the pleasure of a legendary bottle of rum. So, we drank a large amount of chemshine which made our boys explosive. And, uh, 
welcome the hordes of undead into the distillery. And as the undead maul our remaining colonists, I like to think they died with smiles on their faces because just as their hearts stopped... I was happy to let this colony die knowing that if I couldn't have our legendary rum, no one can. Big thanks to all my Patreons who throw their hard-earned cash at me and to viewers like you who made it this far into the video. Uh, yeah, goodbye.